So today I went to Sam's Club and I've always known the pretzels are really good but today just confirmed it. I got another one. It was a dollar and eight cents total which such a good price for such an amazing pretzel. It was extremely soft, very warm, like right out of the oven. Um, it had a, so much butter that like it kind of like drips in your fingers but that's like that's the best part. And then it has, um, it was really salty. It did not come with any sauces. So if you're someone that always likes to like dip your pretzels, it didn't come with any sauces, but I believe you could ask for some cheese sauce. They didn't offer it, but I do believe they have it. It may be at an additional cost though. But um, overall, this pretzel, one of the best pretzels I've ever had in my life. So good. And I think I'd rate this 10 out of 10. It's always been a favorite of mine and today just confirmed it even more. So I don't know if you need a membership to go to Sam's Club and get one of their pretzels. But if you do have a membership, I highly recommend you go and get a Sam's Club soft pretzel from the little concession stand they have there. Like, don't, like, go buy one and, like, microwave it at your house. Like, at the concession stand they have at Sam's Club. So good. Highly recommend my favorite pretzel. Hey, guys. So today I went to Top Golf and I got their pretzel bites as an appetizer. These pretzel bites were $7.50, which for a typical appetizer, that's a good price for a pretzel. Um, I'd say see the picture in the links below but here's what they look like okay so it came with two sauces it came with a horseradish de horseradish dijon sauce and a cheese sauce both sauces are really really good the pretzels were a hot temperature when they came out and they they look like they're really buttery but you don't really taste the butter and they're kind of they're kind of crunchy um they're they have salt in them but i wouldn't say it's very strong salt and um, overall, I'd probably rate these puzzles a 7 out of 10. They, they were pretty good, but they weren't like, I expect better than Pop Golf. Hey guys, so today I am at Ford's Garage, the new restaurant at the Hamilton Town Center. As you can see, I am still in the same outfit as my last video because this is only a couple hours later. We went to Pop Golf and now we're here. And so I just got their pretzel sticks appetizer and the pretzel, pretzel sticks came out, they were very warm. They are pretty doughy, but like more hard and crunchy on the outside. They have, they don't have any salt on them, but, so I'd say they kind of do need a little bit of salt, but they do have um, some butter on them. And it came with two, two sauces, one really sweet honey mustard sauce and another cheese sauce. And overall, I'd give the pretzels like a seven out of 10. However, because the two sauces are so good, I'd give them a, an 8 out of 10. Oh, also the price was $7, which for an appetizer that you typically share with other people, that's a good price for a pretzel. So today I'm at 101 Beer Kitchen and I got their soft pretzel appetizer. The pretzel was $6.95 and it came out very hot. It was um, pretty soft on the inside, but crunchy and more hard on the outside. It didn't have salt, instead it had rye seeds. So if you're not a fan of rye, I do not recommend this pretzel, but Overall, I'd give it a 6 out of 10. It did come with a good cheese sauce. It tasted like a vegetarian cream cheese, and that was pretty good. Um, but overall, i just say a 6 out of 10. Hey guys, so today I'm at El Emporium, and today's pretzel was $9. It was very salty, almost too salty, but it wasn't like overbearing. Um, it came out pretty warm, and it was a really big pretzel. Like, I couldn't even finish it all. Um, but if you get it, I recommend eating the bigger part. If you can see the picture, there's like a really skinny part and a really big part. The bigger part's better because it's like more fluffy and not. And the other part is like really hard and crunchy. And then it came with two sauces, a white queso sauce and a raspberry horseradish radish sauce. Both are really good. And um, overall, I'd probably give this pretzel a six.